Hey everyone, after posting part one, I went on a deep dive to find some more suggestions and ideas for fun upgrades I can add to my A1 3D printer. Thanks so much for all those comments in the last video, by the way. So here it is, seven more must have prints for the Bamboo A1. Just like last time, I'll put all the STL files in the description for you. All right, let's jump right in. I noticed this top cable would snag sometimes, which could interfere with the tool head movement. So, there are several designs available for these clips, but this one seemed to be the cream of the crop. At the moment, my A1 seems to never be off long enough to collect dust, but, this dust cover helps keep your x-axis linear rail clean. Speaking of cleaning, let's look at this clean tool for the A1 series. It's a simple tool designed to clean and lubricate all the moving parts on your A1. This print came out really well and was quick to complete. I'll definitely put it to use during my next maintenance session. This tool will save your fingers. I've tried removing the tubes without it first and instantly regretted it. Trust me, print this tool. It makes removing the tubes much easier when needed and your fingers will definitely thank you. Next is probably my favorite mod, spicing up the extruder gear. Let's face it, the stock one is pretty boring, so let's swap it out. I've got a flux capacitor design that slides right onto the shaft, but I don't have an AMS as of yet, so let's add a splash of color using some hobby paints. From the bottom, just pop off the cover, pull the gear and replace it. After reassembling, it adds a nice custom touch to your Bamboo Lab A1. This also works for the A1 Mini as well. There's other designs like a biohazard sign, which is pretty cool too, which I'll put the link in the description below for you, but I couldn't resist printing out that flux capacitor. This is what makes time travel possible. The A1 Hot End Sock Remover. This is an easy one hand removal for the A1 or A1 Mini faceplate cover and the hot end sock. To use it, just slide it underneath and lift to remove the entire nozzle case. Then you can use these small tweezers to pull the nozzle out completely. Really helpful as you're likely to be changing nozzles more often than you expect. The next helpful item is this filament measurement tool. You simply place it on your filament spool and it gives you an approximate idea of how much filament remains. For example, on this spool, I probably have about 200 grams left and this newish spool has 700 grams, which is pretty accurate. And without it, you might be attempting to print something that you don't have enough filament for in the first place, which ain't good. Just for fun, I thought it would be cool to add a little bit of my branding to the unit. So I hopped over to Nomad on my iPad and Blender on my PC and made this little giant killer sign. There you go, perfect. As a thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, I just wanted to share some essential tools that I've been keeping close to hand for 3D printing, so here they are. A deburring tool, this is really handy just to clean up those prints and to get rid of any excess stringing. Pliers and cutters, pretty self-explanatory, but it's really handy to keep them close by just in case you need them. And lastly, digital calipers are definitely handy since they let you take precise measurements of real world objects that you might want to replicate or design around. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know. I'll be making a separate video about the time lapses I do for these videos, so stay tuned for that. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.